So I don't think I've ever actually created a Python connection in LabVIEW, so I'm going to ask Jake to help me out. I've told it that I'm using 2024, and so it needs to give me a compatible version, include hyperlinks, so it's easy for me to install Python and include a demo Python script. So I'm going to click on the hyperlink it's given me, and this is to version 3.8. Now I know that's not the latest, but I've asked Jake to give me a compatible version, so I'm trusting that it is. And so I'm going to go through the setup of installing Python. Okay, so now that's done, I want to know, okay, is, was that install successful? So I'll ask Jake, um, how do I test that install? And it's given a few commands I can use. So I'll try this out in terminal, Python version. And now that wasn't recognized, but Jake did say that I needed to add it to my variables. Um, to bypass the variables, I gotta just try running the command through um, in the location where Python is installed. So uh, Python version, and yeah, it's come up with the correct version. So I know that Python itself works. Now, as Jake suggested, I'm going to add Python to my environment variables. So I'll add Python in then the Python scripts as well. Click OK. Um, and I'll try the terminal again, but I don't think it will work. No. OK, so I'm going to have to restart my computer. So now my PC's restarted. I'm going to open up Jake. And whilst that's loading, I'll open up the terminal to test it out again. And yep, it's worked. So my environmental, my environment variables work. Jake is happy. And I just brought up my history. Um, so now what I think I'm going to do is create that Python script. So I'll copy it from Jake, create a new Py file, like so, and then copy the script which Jake gave me and save that. Okay, so with that all done, I guess it's time for us to use LabVIEW. So I'm going to open up LabVIEW, create a brand new VI, just Control N. And then like Jake suggested, I go to connectivity, Python, and then drop down these Python nodes. And then I'll use my favorite quick drop shortcut, Control Space, Control Shift W to auto wire and clean up. And I'll create some constants. I'm using Python 3.8. I need to drag in the the Python script that I created. And I'll double check with Jake. I'm using the multiply function. Great, so that was easy. I'll create a quick front panel where I can multiply numbers A and B together to create C. So fingers crossed this should work. And I'll just click Control R. Yep, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 5 is 5. So that seems to work. Let's just try it in a loop to create a bit of an application. And yeah, perfect. My times tables aren't that good, but, but I'm pretty sure they're all correct. Nice one. Thanks, Jake.